Everywhere we went, the villagers just came out and gave us a royal welcome. We come to save Greece, and we felt pretty good. The Air Force was the biggest difference. It cut everybody to ribbons all the time. No defence against them. They had tanks and we didn't. Uh, untouchable. We had nothing to touch them. We did an awful lot of equipment and, and soldiers by going there. However, that's the politicians, not us. Well, they had all sorts of awful wounds. They had bullet wounds and shrapnel wounds. They are the dreadful one. Things were hopeless. The conditions were very primitive. We started then sort of retreating from mountain chain to mountain chain and uh, mostly on trucks and later on on foot. And we had three and four foot of snow. You had to sleep in it and you had to march in it. It really made you a tough man, mate. This was an extraordinary sight because the air was full of parachutes. Murray, were you frightened? I said, no, I wasn't frightened. I was bloody well petrified. <laughs> And this Maori boy got up with a bread gun magazine and did a haka. How he wasn't shot, God only knows. Up they get, and so we went with them. They were sacrificing their lives in keeping and looking after New Zealanders and Australians and others from the Commonwealth.